Hi, I'm Ash, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the very latest Thunderbolt 5 drive from Lassie. It's the rugged SSD Pro 5. This has just come out at the time of recording this, and I'm a little bit excited about it because this is one of the fastest drives, external drives, in the world at the moment. So it's fast, it's rugged, it's blue. Let's get into it. So if you haven't seen my previous video where I test nine of the latest SSD drives, then maybe go and see that one first because that one shows you everything from USB 4 drives to Thunderbolt 3 drives and everything in between. And it's really interesting because the latest drives are not quite what they seem or some of them are underachieving and some of them are overachieving. So go and check out that one first and then you'll have a better understanding about how fast this one potentially is. We're testing today on the very latest MacBook Pro, the M4 with the Pro chip. And I'm doing that because it has the very latest Thunderbolt 5 port. So hopefully we'll be able to get maximum speed out of this here drive in the test. We're going to do two tests. We're going to do the standard Blackmagic test, which will give you its fastest speeds of what it can do and hopefully reach its stated speeds. And we're going to do a test, which is a large file transfer test. What comes in the box is the drive itself, a very short Thunderbolt 5 cable, some instructions, and that's pretty much it. But that's good enough, that's all you need. Next, when you connect the drive, you see that it's formatted as XFAT. Now, for if you wanna run on an Apple Macintosh, then the ideal one is AFPS. So I've reformatted mine to accommodate that. But before you do that, when you first connect the drive, it will have a few files on the drive itself and it will link you to Lassie's website to register the device. You register, you put in your name, you have to agree to some privacy statements, T's and C's. Then it asks you if you want to sync and protect your data, which I don't want at this stage. Then it gives you access to the Adobe Creative Cloud and a few, I think it's a month's free trial. And then it says, thanks for purchasing. That's it, You've, you're in, it's registered, it's linked to your email address, and that's the process done. In this very first test, I'm gonna check the internal speeds of my MacBook Pro's drives. So let's go ahead and see what that is. So we'll connect it to the desktop drive. We'll do a two gigabyte test. And this is the internal SSD drives on my MacBook Pro, the M4. So wow, yeah. And that's, that's to be expected, yeah, that's fast. 6,376 by 4,725. So there's no problem with those, but that gives you a benchmark of how fast drives can be, but they're internal ones. Okay, let's get on to the Lassie drive. Let's see how fast this thing is. Now, just before I click go on this one, just bear in mind that in the previous test that I did, the fastest drive was the SanDisk G40, and that's a Thunderbolt 3 drive, and it was giving around at about 3000 megabits a second. So that's currently what is kind of the fastest on the market, or was. So yeah, this is gonna be game changing, I believe. We're gonna go to five gigabyte file, and click go. Okay, normally it's a bit slower on the very first go. Well, there we go, 5,100 on the right and 5,100 on the read, what? Remember, I was getting 500 out of my previous drives. That is insane. So that's, that's exactly, it's actually more than I thought it would be. So I'm really pleased for that. So let's now look at the large file transfer. So I'm now transferring 262 gigabyte file. And as you can see, that's going pretty fast. One gig, two gig, three gig, four gig. That is fast. About two minutes it's saying to do 262 gigabytes. Now I tried this in my previous test on the nine drive test that I did. And the fastest one was the SanDisk Pro, the G40. And it did it in just under three minutes. So it'd be interesting to see how this one comes out. And that's it guys just under three minutes, two minutes, 55 seconds. So yeah, that's fast. The large file transfer I thought would be a little bit faster than it, than it is. 
but out of all the drives that I've tried, the SSD ones, that is as fast as they get. You can see here that, the, yeah, 257 was the G40 last time, and that was by far the fastest of anything that I'd seen. Uh, this one is comparable, it's there or thereabouts within 10 to 15 seconds, but on the, on the fast files, the one to two, the five gigabytes, yeah, this is gonna be much, much faster. So really pleased with, with this. So now we know the speeds, what's the alternatives? There are not many out at the moment. You've got OWC, Sabrent, I'm sure Sandisk will come out with their own versions. But Lassie are definitely one of the first to market. And I've got to be honest, I am very pleased with this. Uh, I think the prices are high for Thunderbolt 5 at the moment, and they will come down over time. Will I keep it? Yes, I'm going to keep it. I always want the fastest, I always want the best. And going from 500 megabits a second to 5,000, uh, that's insane. So yeah, I'm going to keep it. Uh, what will I use it for? I'll be video editing like this and I'll be not transferring the files to my computer to start with. I'll just transfer them straight to the drive and that will allow me to then not use up the space on my Mac itself and I'll just be running everything live, editing live from my external new rugged SSD Pro 5. So if you want to buy one of these or any of the other ones, the links are in the description. I hope you like this video. Watch out for some more because there's some interesting ones coming up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.